Our final speaker for the night has had a long time involvement with Pachakacha, originally speaking at PKN number seven, Love. And he also happens to be the co-founder of the Pachakacha partner that produces these events, Rocket House. Please welcome a person who is stepping in very last minute and has never seen the slides he's about to speak on. <laughs> Yeah, these slides were prepared hours ago by the social media person from Rocket House, and this speaker hasn't seen a glimpse of what is in them. <laughs> He's in for a whirlwind. Please give a warm welcome to Steve Clintberg Nash. It's really fun being here. I love being in the grand. Uh, my, my wife, who is also the co-founder of Rocket House, uh, she and I have a six-month-old at home, so you are going to get the same sleep-deprived nonsense that he gets whenever I read him a story that he doesn't understand. Let's do it. A thermonuclear sunset descends upon the city of Calgary. Something that was set in motion long ago before this was ever called Calgary. It was Mokinstis at the time, and how did we know it was going to end up here? Well, we had an idea that elevated our thoughts, that brought everything in our minds together into these happy little bubbles. Bubbles that we could climb up the stairs of our imaginations with, like if we were at, say, Ampersand, just a few blocks away for Lobby Fest. But, Within the beauty of those glorious webs of thoughts and cares and imagination, there was something that, if treated the wrong way, could be a little disastrous and harmful. Beautiful, but spiky. <laughs> something that was meant to be fun, that oftentimes would scare the living fucking shit out of any of us especially if we saw a combination of a balloon near a sewer or watched this movie when we were way too young and were afraid of the hole in the wall in the basement. But we could fortify ourselves with nice, rich, caloric, fresh ingredients that we could make with our family and friends and put onto a beautiful plate and fill ourselves up with nightly. And no matter how many friends or little bastards stole our food when we were out on a picnic in the woods that would come down from the trees and just want to be part of the party, the picnic, we knew we had a community around us that could grow, that could be life-bringing and oxygen bringing when we needed a breath more than anything. It could fill a room with nourishment. And all we needed to do was give it a little water and a little hard work out in the garden sometimes. We could put on our work boots and we could bring home the fortitude from that garden that our friends, our family, and our own stomachs needed so much to make this an amazing place. Without rats, apparently. <laughs> because somehow, Berta doesn't have rats. <laughs> but we've made up for that shortcoming with truck nuts. So, <laughs> there we go. And we're gonna apply heat where we need to apply heat. We won't roll up our sleeves because it's better protection if we don't from all of the sparks of our ingenuity. Sparks that bring the crossroads and the intersections together to make wonderful life forms out of just a simple potato from our garden. That's what Calgary does. We make beauty like this <laughs> out of the randomness that we see around us. Sometimes that form of creativity is a little bit spooky. 
But we all know that when the leaves fall or the snow falls and you put on your snow pants and you go outside, when you mix with your neighbors at the spookiest times, they give you nice things like candy. And that's great. Because neighbors are really just cuddly kittens. <laughs> they make life better. The bigger our litter of kittens, the bigger our cuddle fest that we have with our neighbors, the better everything in our life and our city becomes. Read about it. It's in a lot of books. <laughs> you sit down with a book and a nice coffee, and you think about all the things that we all love in our lives and that we love about this city, and we know that it's alive, like a big-ass whale. We might not have whales around here, but we have surfing because fuck off if you think that Calgary ain't gonna make its own headway no matter what. We've got a random standing wave at 10th Street, surfing paradise, that's what we do. We are the mycelium of this world. We connect everything. And whether you want a psychotropic day or you want just a little bit of fun in your belly, or frankly, you just want to go foraging with friends. Calgary is a great place to do it. We got baby sharks. We got grandpa sharks. We got mama sharks. We got all the sharks in the sea, but we don't have a sea. So that makes it even nicer for swimming around here in our many irrigation canals that we've turned into lakes. So take a seat, get all comfy. Whether it's in a lobby or the oldest theater in Western Canada, which is freaking gorgeous, by the way. Round of applause for the grand. This living city is pretty darn snazzy, and it has attracted all of us here tonight. We are like the multi-flavored macarons that are delectable, that the cool bakers of the city bring forward to us so that we can delight in all of the tasty pleasures of every flavor under the rainbow. Like puppies. <laughs> Don't eat the puppies like you do the macarons, but cuddle them like you do the kitties and your neighbors. Just know that this city is made more wholesome every time you get outside and wag your tail at a friend. Thank you very much. I'm coming in for the Thank you, Steve. Um, that was